So this is what Pep Linder said in his press conference earlier on today around injuries. Uh, Dom, Darwin and Mo, we have to really see. Um, we have two more days, today's session and tomorrow's session. Uh, in the last minute, we will check if they can be there. It'll be great, to be honest. And we did see pictures of Mohamed Salah and Darwin looking um, pretty happy and, you know, at the AXA training facility today. He then went on to say, Curtis has an ankle strain. He will be back uh, in and around the international break. He said, Allison muscle injury after the international break. It will really take time. Trent, lateral ligament. He uh, will be after the international break. Jada, med uh, medial ligament. He'll be after the international break. But he goes on to say, after the international break means we're not exactly sure of the exact dates. I think that was in relation to Jota. Uh, the good thing is, we always did in the past, we look to what we have. We need to accept that we have uh, what we have and not just look at what we don't have. He goes on to say, with a few injuries, you get young players, players who didn't play five games in a row, but who can show up now. That's really cool. This season is a season where we've created three or four new teams in a season, and it's a compliment to our squad and the academy. Um, also on that, Matt Thielen last night put out a stat to say that Liverpool have used 15 academy players this season. 15 I think that's an incredible stat, honestly. 15. <laughs> that is outstanding. No other word for it. That is just outstanding. And another crazy stat was in every game so far this season, we've yet to put out the same team twice in a row. That, again, is mind-blowing. Whatever team we put out on Sunday will lift the trophy. What do you think? Yes, I agree. I think we're better than Chelsea. Um, now look, it's a final. Anything's possible. You know, an early red card could ruin the game as an example. Or it could be a dour affair with a late set piece or something that somebody wins it with. But for me, I feel if we score the first goal, we will put Chelsea to the sword a little bit. Because I don't think they have the stomach for the fight. And I know that Pochettino is going to be in that dressing room trying to rally the troops around exactly that. Nobody expects you to win this. Everybody thinks you can't play together. Everybody thinks that there's no team uh, cohesion here. Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I feel like we're a better drilled um, unit. So, let's wait and see. But I'm certainly feeling bullish ahead of the final. But also, I've got to be really honest and say, I take three points against Nottingham Forest over the League Cup. Because for me, the league is the priority. And um, I want us to get to that Manchester City game in as good a shape as possible. And if we beat them at Anfield, I mean, people will still tell me not to get ahead of myself. But sorry, if we beat Manchester City at Anfield, I'm uh, I'm in party mode at that point. i got to be honest with you. I think that's us winning the league if we do it. Uh, do you think the younger players will be too nervous of a final at Wembley? <sighs> of course, they'll have nerves. But I guess you don't get to play for a club like Liverpool unless you're able to handle those occasions. And, and what we've seen of the young players that have been given opportunities this season is a lot of them are fearless, particularly young Connor Bradley, Bobby Clark, even young Dan's when he came on for a few minutes against Luton Town. Straight into the game, straight into the action, straight into contributing towards Harvey Elliott's goal. Um, so yeah, you know, they're all going to be nervous. Well, Toro will probably be nervous because it's a big occasion at Wembley, cup final. But that's what it's all about. That's what they work hard for. That's what they dream about. And um, working with the team that Klopp has been working with as well, the neuroscience team, and working with sports psychologists and stuff, it's about getting those guys ready to peak and perform at the best of their abilities and to play the game and not the occasion. That's easier said than done. And I'm definitely somebody, if, that I, was, if I was involved in high-level sport, I'd need a psychologist to keep me... Um, in the right mindset and focus but a lot of professional athletes are very good at compartmentalizing things and um, that old phrase play the game not the occasion is is very very true